I just thought you'd like to know that. And I haven't checked his Twitters like as of today. Yeah. So I could do that really quick just because it warms me up for the show, you know? I know. And I know how much you like that it warms me up for the show. I like you being warm, especially in this weather, you know? Yeah, well, let's see if he has anything. No, he just says, proud to share my first in-person chat, even though they were on the computer. Hmm. With someone I admire professionally and personally. Despite the deep conversation, we barely scratched the surface. He'll be back for more. I don't know if he retweeted it, though. I'm not sure. Or mentioned it. I have to put another timestamp on here where the show starts now. Okay. That might have been uh... (laughs) too revealing. Very revealing. You never know. You never know. No, you never do. Tried to have a nice little segue there. Didn't work out quite the way I hoped, but that's okay. Sometimes I go rogue, Joe. That's right. Listen, you wanted to name the thing Go Rogue. I uh, learned today, as we record this, that apparently I forgot a porch talk. Okay. Because I went and I saw today's episode 40, and I pulled up the site, and I'm like... Huh. Did they misnumber this? And I'm like, no, I missed 39. It's just, I don't know. I, just, I don't know what the hell I was doing. I just missed it. I think we had a late one. And then, like, you were out of, you were out of super secret science. And I think, no, you pay, uh... I think you pay more attention to Twitter when you're at super secret science than when you're with your family afterwards. I'll say, yeah, it was a Monday. And Mondays are busy sometimes mm-hmm. when it came out. So, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I know Adam doesn't care. I care. I'm the one who's who's holding it all together over there on porch stuff. Right. It's my porch, for Christ's sake. That's true. And it's your famous chair. It, well, it is, yeah. As soon as I get uh, Dan, you know, Lee to sit in it, oh, <laughs> then, it's, then it's on, Joe. Now, this uh, may be morbid, but uh, is Dan Lee still alive? Yeah, he was just at a con a while back. I paused. Listen, Vince McMahon was on TV the other day, and I got questions. <laughs> well, uh, I'm trying to be good from here on out and not mention certain W words. But, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. It seemed like he was at a con a while back. He's probably just taking a break and counting all that money that's rolling in. <laughs> but, hey, everybody. I know I'm... F- I know I'm friends with him on Facebook, or I follow his page, or whatever the hell it is. You know? Right. I think it's a like, a thing you have to like. I don't think it's, because I know it's like, he looks I like. I can't be he's... private friends with Dan the Man Lee? No, no, you can't. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find it. It's t- he makes it tough to find. Right. His, his name is too common for us to do just like a basic search to find his information. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, if I bring it up, I'll, you know. Oh, he looks like Stan Lee. Hey, he looks like Stan Lee is the name of the page. Oh, um, all joking aside, you're going to feel like shit, Joe. On June 1st, he said, I need prayers for my son. He was admitted to the hospital for a bone infection. So he's probably been, you know, dealing with that. No, I don't feel that bad. You should feel bad. Dan the Man Lee is a national treasure. And then you're supposed to do the joke, if he's a treasure, maybe we should bury him. No, no. That's How do you make dad, money out of someone on the ground? Oh, uh, That's what my dad used to say when my mom said I was a treasure. <laughs> well, your dad's got a bunch of them, doesn't he? Yes, he does. His number one rule was always, I don't post bail. I'll tell you what his second rule was off the air. All right. <laughs> yep. Uh, the other day, and this is maybe my uh, naivete when it comes to these sort of things. Right. Uh, no, this was when um, April and I, we did the uh, LVAC Real Rumble shows, right? Mm-hmm. And we come home late, and we're on our way home, and it's Saturday night. And I notice in this one parking lot, there's a building that's like, windows are all lit up, everything's all lit up, and it's like 1030 at night on a Saturday. And I'm like, oh, that's peculiar. 
And it was uh, the bail bonds place. Well, you got you need bail in the middle of the night. Night court, Joe. Right. And that's what April said. She's like, well, you know, they, those people there should typically there should be someone their staff like 24 hours because people get arrested all the time and you need bail all the time. Right. Right. You might not be you might not even be in the this time zone. You know, you might be doing it for somebody in another time zone. Yeah. Yeah. And again, like I said, it was just like my naivete. Be like, huh. Bail bonds open 24 hours a day. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> You know, like, I don't know. Right. I don't run afoul of the law. I don't, you know, I've never been in need for a bail bondsman. So it's just like a profession that I don't think about what the, you know, I figured like they have banker hours, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think, I don't think I've, I've never needed a bail bondsman. All joking aside, my father has, but uh, yeah, I don't know. As long as I think they should all like, what is it? What was it? Bad News Bears? They were some. They were the, the sponsor for. One yeah, of the- Chico's Bail Bond. <laughs> yep. Yeah. If you're going to be a 24 hour bail bondsman, you have to you have to sponsor a little league team. Right. I got a couple in my neighborhood, and I say my neighborhood, like five mile radius. You know. Yeah. You're in the uh, what is it? The attention deficit uh, criminal area of Wilkesbury. Well, that's what a lot of people like to claim. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I only go when the lights are on. <laughs> Which is a detriment time. to you. That's right. Uh, there's been times where, uh, you know, I've told the story before. Uh, it was years and years ago, I was on my way home from a recording session for, like, updates or DVD shit or whatever it was for Chikara and... It was one of those things where, like, if I get there early enough, I can bang out all my stuff because I'm usually pretty good at this. But if I get there a little bit late and they've already started recording other people's stuff, I got to wait till their stuff is done and then I can go, you know. You don't just so, kick the door in like Krusty? No. Hey, hey, this is how you do it. <laughs> slideshow, Mal. Slideshow, Mal. <laughs> um, so it's late night. I come home, park the car in front of the house. I stumble in just because it was late. Like, I'm not, it's middle of the week. And I wake up and I'm like, where the hell are my keys? Huh, where the hell's my wallet? And I go outside and not only did I leave my keys and my wallet on the passenger side of my car, I also left the window rolled down as well. How'd you get in the house? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. April leaving the side door open? Or? Right. So the, right. So that unintentionally leads to this, where she must have left the side door open for me. Or this week, this we- this Monday, I went out to mow the lawn. I could let it go for a week because we didn't get a ton of rain last week. Mm-hmm. So I go out, mow the lawn. When I'm out there mowing the lawn, I travel light. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, I got my, I got my uh, phone on me just in case. Uh, there's an emergency, and I got my inhaler just in case, like, some pollen or something kicks up or the tree is extra something, and I, you know, I need a little boost, right? <laughs> right, Spectrox and a sure. inhaler. Yeah, yeah, listen. So, uh, so, Asa had his piano practice yesterday. They left while I was mowing the lawn, and they locked me out of the house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and typically, and see, that's the thing. Like, I, I typically don't go with, with, you know, with my house keys on me because that's just extra baggage while I'm mowing the lawn. And I typically will say, "Hey, I don't have my keys on me. Don't lock me out of the house." Mm-hmm. And then typically, when they leave, they say, "We're leaving," and I say, "Hey, don't lock me out of the house." <laughs> right. So when I went out to mow the lawn, I forgot to say. Hey, don't lock me out of the house. When they left, they didn't say bye. So I didn't get a chance to remind them not to lock me out of the house. And I got locked out of the house. Were you listening to some shitty podcast? Is that why? Were you distracted? No, even when I'm, even when I have, I'm always listening to a uh, podcast, not a shitty one. How dare you? Um, (laughs) But I always have a podcast on, but you know, if they yell, I hear them, right? Even with my headphones and whatever else on. I'm pretty, you know, whatever. Um, I just may have been like on the far end. They may not have seen me or whatever it is. But 
I blame no one. It just kind of sucked. And like, I didn't go bother the neighbor because they have a spare key and they let me in. And like, Ooh, I'm going to go see the spare, uh, the neighbor so I can borrow the key yeah. when you're out of town. Right. Get, a, get all that good stuff of yours. Yeah. It just got to, I got to be more vi- vigilant to say, hey, don't lock me out of that. I'm going to pinch that Bib Fortuna collection. Oh, yeah. Well, I got uh, two weeks from now, uh, everything is going to be up on the wall. Um, fingers crossed. When does that when does that uh, that play set drop that you have to get the figure from? Oh, not till next September. Oh, plenty of time. Yeah. Yeah, these is, you know, that's just the way the world is now. The pre-orders and stuff like they just. um uh, I mentioned it on uh, At Odds last week. I pre-ordered that company, Super 7. And we can get into your Toy Boy uh, exploits as well. Um, Fig Daddy Cool. It's pronounced Fig Daddy oh, Cool, excuse sir. Excuse me. Um, so I pre-ordered the uh, Toxic Crusader Ultimates from Super 7. Right. Because uh, I'd been looking for the original from the 90s mint on card. And that's like two three hundred bucks right you know i can i could get it but like you know i'm a mint on card guy and then if i want to open it i'll open it you know yep let it breathe let it breathe as they say <laughs> right so buying the 55 dollar uh plus shipping one from super seven and it's going to come out next year and i'm like okay now i can kind of take that looking for the other one out of my mind unless i happen to see one with a nice card and there's a decent price and whatever 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 so Super 7 is also doing, like, um, they're, they're, like, the ultimate lines where it comes, like, the multiple hands and the multiple heads. And they're doing it for tons of different lines. They're on their Simpsons line, okay? Okay. Oh, I saw those today, and I kind of want them. Okay. But they're too expensive. Okay, so this is something we could discuss because they just did the pre-order for Season uh, Series 3, right? Right. And it's Ralph, Mr. Burns, Kang, and Kodos, okay? Right. He even has the little choo-choo-choose-me card. Right. And they come with, like, all these neat accessories. They're like, I remember that episode. I remember that episode. I remember that episode, right? right. Oh, you remember an episode of The Simpsons? I oh, do. I'm shocked. But the thing is, so they've just did a pre-order for season, or series three. Season one isn't, or series one isn't even out yet. Right. Um. So, I don't know. I'm just of the mindset of, like, Hey, before you start soliciting and taking money for series two, let alone series three, let's get series one out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, so people can get a proof of concept in their hands and everything else like that. Um, So typically the price on a Super 7 was like 45 to 55 bucks. The newest ones, the Kang and Kodos ones, because they're quote unquote larger. And then last week, the Hawkins and Broski series two ultimates were 75 dollars plus shipping right right so people are freaking out well people are freaking out because the hawkins and broski ones were 75 dollars up from 55 dollars a year ago and they're like oh we we didn't want to take any deco hits we didn't want them to look any less good and then the kang and kodo ones come out and they're 75 dollars and i'm like that's probably just because they're bigger right right and I guess the sizing on the new Hawkins and Broski ones, they're a little bit shorter than the previous ones. Right. So that they're in line with some other figure line as opposed to the other figure line that they were initially in line with. Anyway, um, friend of the show, Kevin Ford, knows I'm a Simpsons guy. Series one comes out and he's like, hey, you want them? I'm getting them all. And I'm like, no, I'm good. Series two comes out. He's like, yeah, hey, you want them? I'm getting them all. And I'm like, no, I'm good. And then I saw the teaser for Ralph and I'm like, yeah. I can get Ralph for my kid. You know, my kid likes Ralph. He watches The Simpsons now. Right. And again, $55 for a little toy that he don't give a shit about. Mm-hmm. It's going to be lost on him, you know? I Of all of them, I I almost pulled the trigger on the Krusty. Yeah. That, that would be mine. If they ever did, like, a two-pack Krusty Homer from that episode, uh, yeah. Homer the Clown... I would, or Homer the Clown, I would be all over something like that, maybe. But, uh, like, thinking back to when they did the figures on that, and they did Futurama figures, and Doctor Who figures, um, I, I never trust anybody, anything with a huge ensemble, 
where they're going to do figures because the license will shift and they'll never fit. Like they'll never do like at some point this is going to fall out and you're going to have, cause I heard somebody complaining about today. I know I'm all over the place that, um, that like you've done three series uh, waves that you're promoting and none of them have like just plain Homer, plain Marge, plain, any of the, the main family. And I'm like, by the time you get to those and get them all, you won't get a whole set. And then they'll be like, Oh, we don't have the license anymore. Or they weren't worth our time or they weren't worth like whatever. That's why I don't do a lot of uh, figure sets, if you will. Right. I get you. Um, and listen, I like the Simpsons. I went through the whole thing of getting the Simpsons figures all the way back there, you know, mm-hmm. and I ended up getting rid of most of them because they'd just been in my basement. Um, and like they even did like those reaction ones, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, but then at least you have your, um, I guess rules when it comes to the Ninja Turtle ones, specifically yes. Casey Jones figures, right? Well, all around Mirage. And speaking of, and I'll get to those in a second. Um, do you remember that? Uh, because I bought a Mirage loot crate, like they had this the Loot Crate 4 set series are limited edition. I bought one like two or three years ago, got a shredder. Um, and then they issued a second one two, uh, I don't know, like, I know it's been over 500 days. I know that much. So I was like, I'm not buying uh, all the crates. The Mirage one is the third crate. So I'm just going to buy one off of somebody on eBay. That was 500 days ago. They're just starting to ship them now, <laughs> Joe. Jeez. So finally they're, they're hitting the hands and I ended up talking. I will say my eBay seller, I was in contact the whole way and he has a, like a hundred percent feedback and everything. He's like, no, they're, they're not telling me anything. He's like, and they weren't, I'm in, you know, I'm in a couple of groups about it. And finally I saw that they were shipping and I'm like, uh, Hey, like I give him the nudge and he's like, yeah, I got my tracking, but they go out in waves. Uh, I'll keep you informed. Um, when it it appears he goes i'm not even sure what uh box it is uh even though it is three it is uh the set three um because now they're just they don't have stuff they're just shipping them out of order they're like they shipped some of box one ran out of stuff from box one so they're like we're going to ship box one again later when we get more stuff in two we don't have everything for three's everything and so we're shipping it's a cluster but i'm like that's the one i want so I want that one. I'm like, oh, okay, we're getting close to that. Then I'll have my second uh, Mirage figure of the new batch stuff. And then today they ended up announcing that they're doing a uh, Utram figure, which I know you're a big fan of, and uh, a Casey Jones figure. And I was like, my inbox blows up when pre eternia tweets it out. And then I'm just like, oh. Uh, let's see. I, I've got the big bad toy store. The email came in shortly after that from big bad toy store. Like, all right, I will take an Utram and I will take at least two Casey Joneses. <laughs> so they're pre-ordered. Good, good. And that was one of those things where like, I saw the pre attorney, tweet. And then I saw like the official tweet and I'm like, I don't need to notify Todd about these. He he's aware. Mm-hmm. And then I saw DJ notify you, and I'm like, Todd knows. And um, like literally, uh, Adam texted me before yeah. that, but I, like it was literally as I was looking at my phone to get his text, the, I saw the pre attorney thing come up. You know what I mean? Because I was going yeah. through stuff on my phone. Um, I pretty much follow pre attorney now, even though like it's one thing out of a thousand that I'm looking but- for. It's worth it for that one thing. Right. But also now, like literally I get emails from Big Bad Toy Stories. They're like, you've pre-ordered three Mirage figures. Here's the newest one. Do you want it? So I like that too, if that makes any sense, you know? Yeah. So I'm like, I'm, I'm like covered seven. I appreciate it all around seven ways to Sunday. But they ended up putting a, a different figure in this, not, like out at the same time. I'm like, I don't care about that one. Cause they're doing like monster move, like the old uh, universal monster mashups. Yeah. With the turtles. And I'm like, Oh, it's like splinter as the, as Van Helsing. I'm like, don't need that one. We can slide that one right out of the way. But these, and these two figures come out uh, both in October. So I'm like, at least I can save on shipping by telling them to hold them. You know what I mean? And send them both. So 
I'm happy about that. But right now, I have if you I have four dolls on pre-order. Five, if you count, that I have two of the same one. I don't like. No, it. I don't. I I you know that's that's four. Okay, I don't know how that works. You know, I don't know in the in the doll you know society and stuff. I got one, two, three. Uh, four, five. I only have five, so you're you're no better or worse than me. Right. Now, um, granted, one of them is from over a year ago, and then the other one's closing in on eleven months. But you know, that's just the way it goes with these things. And do we count the one that I'm waiting on from the eBay seller? Yeah, that's a fifth one. Yeah, we count that. So, but they're all turtle figures. They're almost all Mirage and then one's that last Ronin figure, which I'm thinking about because I have so many Mirage ones of uh, canceling my pre-order on the Ronin figure because it's not, not, I don't know. Like I, let's just say I can make my rule work in this situation if I want to drop it. So right, but we'll see. I have more, and again, this is just because the way it goes. I have more stuff. I have just as much stuff pre-ordered for my kid, right? As I do for me. I've realized, and I don't. We don't talk about it because mostly, like you know, it's this is a, like doll-centric pre-order stuff on the soon-to-be-name network. Is when I when I ended up going through my phone and I realized how many like Omnibuy and hardcovers and like special edi- like stuff like special orders i have i have way more of those like it's like oh sure like here's like volume two of the who's who out of this here's an absolute like bernie rights and swamp thing i'm like oh okay like this is where all my money goes <laughs> okay mm-hmm. but you know yeah i don't get any of the exclusive comic book stuff no more you know yeah you know unless i'm buying it for you <laughs> So how was your weekend? Anything happen? Um, I don't think so. I think uh, Friday I went out with, you know, a couple people for dinner. I haven't seen the definitive K- uh, KFC artist in a long time. So that happened. That was fun. Um, just got tickets ready for Thor uh, Love and Thunder next week. Right. Uh, um, and getting ready for that con in a week and a half. So that's all. Yeah. How about you? Anything? No, no. We um we didn't have anything doing here. Um we were, you know, I was in the pool. Ace had some friends over on Sunday. Uh, you know, just everything's kind of angling toward that end of July going out to uh Rupee Wrestling, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like fun. You know, I'm truly sad. That I can't go, but I heard the car is jam packed, baby. Yeah, we're gonna see how that's gonna work too. Um, we're gonna wait because Adam was trying to finagle a way to get out to the Root Beer Wrestling show in two weeks, right? And that kind of fell through. So, like, once we get past this, I'm gonna start like a little group chat with everyone and start figuring out the plan of attack when we're leaving, that sort of thing. Right. It's the first road trip we're going on. In quite some time. Um, yeah. I wish I could be a fly on the wall. You should record that drive, boy. Woof. Nope. 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 Somebody will be peeing into a bottle while you're talking on in the ride, probably. And then uh, I might be seeing Studebaker this weekend. Wow. Um, coming in, I guess? Yeah. He co- So he comes in. Uh, like every 4th of July weekend, right? Right. And a while ago, he has sent me a message saying that there was a chance that we were going to get, like, okay, so he sends me a message, uh, plan for July 2nd weekend, if you're interested. And I said, absolutely. Or is it just you coming in or is everyone coming in? Mm-hmm. And he replies saying, everyone. And I said, hell yeah. So then he tells me a whole thing. 
uh, blah, 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 blah. And I must have misunderstood that it was the usual party up at his buddy Jared's house. I was under the impression that we were going to get to see, like, his kids and his wife, who we haven't seen in quite some time. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's less exciting, uh, you know, to not see them, because I miss seeing them. It's been a long time. Um, you know, seeing uh, Jared and that whole crew, while fun, you know, I'm a wet blanket. Yes, you are. We're, yes, you, I mean, no. Yeah, yeah. No. I'm well. I'm I'm well aware. You know, I have no uh, preconceived notions of what's you know what sort of fun or whatever I am or am not. You know, I'm very well aware. Um, on on Star Trek: Strange New Worlds. Um, not that you care, but you will. You'll see when we get there. Is there's two characters on there who are like, you know, they're like by the rules, by the book kind of a deal, and they they as a team, the two of them. Uh, they got the nickname where fun goes to die. Mm. And I was like, oh, I know a third person we could put in there. So. Yeah. I have my own fun. Uh, you know, in two weeks when uh, April and Ace are gone for camp, I'm going to go see Thor by myself and uh, going to go hang up the dolls on the wall. <laughs> right. I've, I could just see you smacking your finger with a hammer trying to hang a Bib Fortuna. No, no, I have, like, command hooks. Ooh. Just in case, like, just so, like, if things need to be, like, rearranged or something, you know? And all your fig protectors, too, right? Yeah, 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 all my, all my fig protectors. I have figs, and I have fig protectors, but they're not to get, like, some of them are together. Right. Some of them like, oh, well, these figures are coming out soon, so I'm going to get the fig protectors for them now. And then those are some of the ones that it's like, well, here's a pre-order that's over a year old. Or um, or ones where the f- fig protector was just, like, slightly too small, and it was a whole mishigosh to get the right ones. Right. Anyway. Anyway. So are you, are you, uh, what are you, do you need fig protectors for all the dolls that you're p- purchasing there, Fig Daddy Cool? Um, to tell you the truth, I was actually talking with Adam. I brought one out, and he's like, because the figures that I'm getting, the new box on the Mirage ones, are trapezoid. So, like, the like the sides are, like, as thick as, as a thing, and then it kind of, like, angles in, and then it's flat in the front. So he's like, you're going to have to get fig protectors, but they're not going to make them for that shape. It's, you know, they won't fit in, like... It'll be a square, so you'll have some room in there somehow. I I don't know, so I don't know what I'm doing on that. I ask you actually asked him about, it, and he's like, "Yeah, we can try and find you something close," but I don't know. So we'll see. Yep. Well, good luck. I'll keep an eye out on the couple two three sites. Um, if I see the ones, because a lot of times they'll specifically say. Uh, for these figures or fits like this list of figures or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Joe. No, that's it. Listen, I'm not, I'm not as in deep in the doll world as Adam is, but uh, I have less things to look for. He's he's looking for all of his stuff, and sometimes if he has time, he'll look for your stuff. Yeah, even though I think he's getting out of the biz, but that's just me. So. You mean the person who just tweeted before that he found a whatnot room that was selling figures starting at a dollar and there was only seven people in the room? Right. He's getting out of the he's getting out of the biz. Oh, uh, at least the Dolph Safari biz. I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. I don't know about the buy and jag, but hmm. anyway. Yeah, he's never getting out. Every time I think I'm out, they pull me back in. All right. So I think that's enough for this show, huh? And and then some, I think. And then some. So, hey, uh, that was uh, Longbox Heroes After Dark, 398. Uh, Patreon.com slash Longbox Heroes. Very easy to find. Uh, Patreon <laughs> there. Uh, the Amazon affiliate link in all the uh, show notes for all these episodes. No matter where you're getting them. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks for listening, everybody. And we'll listening see you to all the here soon to next be week. Named Network, the Lamborghini <laughs> of Podcast Network.